If you're in the market for an SUV, you are spoiled for choice. To save you time, we've gathered the ones we think are worth considering from the best value SUVs to the poshest. We'll compare interior practicality, technology, and boot space to see which is best suited to your needs. Starting with the Dacia Duster, which is the pluckiest car here. It gets some proper SUV features like these chunky wheel arches and those roof rails. Plus, you even get curb-proof thick tires. Both petrol, diesel, automatic, and manual dusters are available, and you can also get a rugged all-wheel drive version. And that rugged theme continues inside where, yes, you'll find lots of hard plastics, but they are hard wearing. And you also get all the basics you'll need, including air conditioning and even cruise control as well. And you get an infotainment screen, which is basic, but it does the job. In the back of the duster, there's lots of foot room, a decent amount of knee space, and plenty of room above for taller passengers. You don't get a middle seat armrest, but it's certainly wide enough to carry three passengers. And while the duster is not a massive SUV, its boot is surprisingly large. It actually goes very deep. So our suitcase doesn't just fit in the traditional way, but it also goes in long ways as well. You don't get underfloor storage, but that is a big boot. If you prefer your practical boots to be with a car that's a little bit more engaging to drive, then the Ford Puma might be the better choice. If you think the Puma looks a bit like a jacked up Ford Fiesta, that's because it kind of is. Using the same mix of petrol or mild hybrid engines and manual or automatic gearboxes, its design is more high riding hatchback than compact SUV. And that familiarity with the Fiesta continues inside. And that is a good thing because it means you've got a sportier driving position, but because you sit higher, you've got a good commanding view of the road. Also, you've got Ford's intuitive and fast responding infotainment system, and you've got manual controls for your media and also the climate control, which is a very good thing. In the back, there's just about enough knee space for adults, but plenty of foot room and loads of space above your head. As for the boot, the loading space is wide and the floor is flat meaning a family-sized suitcase fits in easily and our furry friend can sit comfortably upright. But the car's party piece is the mega box in its boot. And no, I don't mean a big subwoofer, I mean a hidden area of very useful storage and you'll find it under the boot floor. And not only can that be used to hide things, but also it is waterproof. You can remove the floor there and you'll find a plug you can hose it down and clean it, reseal it, and hey presto, you've got a clean boot again. Genius. But if your family's a little larger or you need more head and legroom, well, then the Volkswagen T-Roc could be your pick. Yes, the handsome Volkswagen T-Roc, which comes in both petrol and diesel form, is larger than the Puma, both inside and out. In the back, there's extra knee and head space for passengers, plus the middle seat is wide enough to hide an armrest with cup holders and even provide access to the boot via a ski hatch. You get two USB ports as well. And it's not too shabby in the front either because it feels like a Golf, which means it feels high-end and well-built. You also get a nice fast responding infotainment system and buttons where it matters, but otherwise it just feels like a very nice place to sit. The boot's pretty generous as well, with plenty of space for a family-sized suitcase, enough upright room for a dog to sit comfortably, and even some hidden underfloor storage. But what about if you want even more space and more power? Well, then you're into the world of the BMW X3. With petrol, diesel, and plug-in hybrid models available, as well as all-wheel drive across the board, the BMW X3 range is as wide-reaching as it is desirable. Now you're into a world of leather seats and more technology. For example, we've got two screens ahead of us here, but there are still knobs where it matters, even if they're little. Certainly not little is the amount of rear space you get, with plenty of knee and foot room and loads of headspace above. Plus, the wide middle seat hides a generous armrest with cup holders, and you even get your own climate control. And to emphasize the scale of this X3, behind an electric tailgate, you'll find a very large boot. Plus, it has a flat floor, which makes loading much easier. But if you want to hide something, if you lift up this floor here, you'll find a sizable amount of room under there as well. This is also the most suitcase and dog friendly boot here. But what if you're less focused on overall space and more interested in those niceties? Well then you're into the world of the Range Rover Evoque, a plush SUV which comes in petrol, diesel and plug-in hybrid forms. The Evoque's interior has a little bit more pizzazz and a lot more theatre than anything else here. Take for example these climate control knobs down here. They control two things, both your temperature and your fan speed and also the infotainment system is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Oh and also I really like the half analogue, half digital dials ahead of me here. In the back you don't get as much knee and foot space as the X3, but it's comfortable and there's no shortage of headspace above. The middle seat also hides an armrest with cup holders or it can be folded down entirely to access the boot as a ski hatch. 
And while the Evoke Creature Comforts don't carry into the boot, you'll need one of the bigger Range Rovers for that. You do at least get a decent amount of space and you've got a flat floor with some tough loading strips here, which means a suitcase can go in trouble free. Although you do also have a little bit of extra room under the floor as well. Oh yeah, and our four-legged friend fits in fine too. For another notable option, hit the link here. And if you want more SUVs, hit the link here.